Olivia Vasquez once stood in her students' shoes. Many of them immigrants learning a new language. The lack of Spanish translators and resources made navigating school challenging for Vasquez and her mother, Olivia Ponce. The system, it is not designed for um, us, for uh, black students, for Latinx students. Immigrant parents from across Philadelphia say language access problems persist, especially with the influx of more English learners. The Philadelphia School District had more than 16,500 English learners in 2020. That's up nearly 40 percent since 2013. Yet resources haven't kept up, and parents complain that students are pulled out of class to serve as translators, and some important communications still aren't being translated. We should be particularly and most especially attentive to what is happening to families who are among the most marginalized within our school district and need us to do better than we ever have been. In response to a lawsuit in the 1980s, the Philadelphia School District created Bilingual Cultural Assistance, or BCAs. Currently, the district has 101 BCAs for its more than 220 schools. When BCAs aren't available, the district provides a telephone service line, but many of the translators don't have specific training in educational interpretation. Mandy, whose child has special needs and requires an individualized education plan, has had to rely on a friend as a backup translator at meetings. She asked the AP not to use her last name. Especially when it comes to communicating with the school, I encountered a lot of difficulties. During individualized education plan meetings, the school gave us a lot of assessment reports. They were all in English. I couldn't understand. City Council Member Helen Gim, who has been an advocate for education, equity and immigrant rights, says the district owes it to these communities to add more resources. I don't believe that anyone can be at the forefront by meeting the bare minimum standards, and I don't actually think that the school district um, right now is able to say that's meeting uh, its standards. School district officials say a lot of progress has been made in recent years. In a statement to AP, the school district of Philadelphia said, quote, we continue to work closely with school leaders to ensure that the coordination of support and assistance for families is available at our schools. And we are committed to working with and strengthening the partnerships we have with local immigrant and refugee serving organizations to ensure that our students and their families receive the quality support and services they need to be successful academically, socially and emotionally. Other improvements include report cards and phone communications in different languages. But this is little comfort for parents who told the AP that for years, issues of safety and bullying were also poorly communicated. I don't want my community to have to face these types of things. I want there to be people to help them and for them to be able to express themselves and their feelings freely without fear in the language barrier. Experts say Philadelphia is not alone, and school districts across the country have lagged in creating systems that support non-native English speakers. We're talking about people who are already at a social disadvantage for a variety of other reasons. But it's not their fault for not understanding. It is not the responsibility of parents to speak the language of public education. It is the responsibility of public education to speak the languages of parents. Vasquez, a student teacher who graduates in December, believes her presence in the classroom will offer something more. It's something that I want to do like because of my experience and because I needed someone who looked like me and somebody who like told me that it was okay and made me feel proud of my roots. Critics are hopeful a new superintendent will hear their concerns. In Philadelphia, Vanessa Alvarez, Associated Press.